technicians and paramedics. Their goal is to give medical attention to those in need as quickly as possible. Tonight, there is a problem with a teenager at South Park Mall. Supervisor John Fulco and the others become the eyes, ears, and hands of a doctor. What's the patient's level of consciousness? Uh, he appears very intoxicated. He's not very responsive right now. We understand he has a uh, history of drug abuse. Well, we're not sure what kind of drugs he's taking, but he, we know that he has drank a uh, uh, fifth of six or seven. Get the IV going and uh, get him on down there. 10-4, Dr. B, we thank you. the teenager becomes the doctor's patient. EMS service for him is over, but the night for these men is just beginning. The chief of EMS, Ricky Davidson, is on hand this night. He says many times emergency medical technicians are forced to perform their tasks in the midst of chaos. Police are still looking for the suspect in this shooting, while the EMTs and paramedics are looking to save the life of the victim. What, uh, what rate do you want on this one, Chief? Wide open, wide open. It's a tough job with long hours, but not one person we talked to said they would do anything else. This man will live because of them. They did their job well. Tomorrow.